In this video, we'll explore all the options available with the Photoshop selection tools, except the market tools that we covered in our previous video. Welcome to Webtrix Home. Hey guys, welcome to Webtrix Home. In this video, we'll see the Lasso tool, Quick Selection tool, and the Magic Wand tool. We'll also go through the options provided with the Photoshop Select menu present in the main menu section. So without wasting time, let's get started. So let's go to the other selection then. And here's the Lasso tool. And with the Lasso tool, you can see the options on top have changed. It has got the Add to Selection, Subtract from Selection, and Intersect Selection option as we got with the Marquee tool. Then we have got the Feather Radius option and then the anti alias option. And what it basically does is allows us to make a freehand drawing on the workspace and make a selection. And one thing you need to keep in mind is you need to close the selection with the Lasso Selection tools. And you can see the selection made. If you make a selection and leave it in the middle, then a straight line will appear and get joined to the starting point all right and this will help us to make a selection without any restrictions how we want all right and then you have got the refine edge option up here as soon as you make selection then you have got the polygonal lasso tool and all the options on the options bar remain the same with polygonal lasso tool you can create selections using straight lines simply click and move your mouse and click on the points wherever you want you can simply double click on any area to ask photoshop to complete the selection or you can go to the initial point and click it yourself you can see a small circle appear right below your cursor that says you are at that point from where you started the selection process with the lasso tool and you can click here to say photoshop that the selection is completed and then you can make the selection and do all the things that were available level with the selection tool right then the last option on the lasso tool is the magnetic lasso tool and this magnetic lasso tool snaps selection borders to the edge of the object using the width contrast and frequency option we define let's have a look how it works with whatever settings available here the only thing you need to do is click define the starting point and then just move around the object and you can see a path is being created around the object simply go on the starting point and click again and you can see a selection is made this is a loose selection right but with the more precise settings defined on the width contrast and frequency option you can get a better selection over here let's zoom it a bit and let's make the selection again with all these things changed right so this is the width option and this sets the distance from is of the object to consider for path and you can define a bit larger width asking Photoshop to consider 20 pixel flexibility while selecting the path for the selection and you can see you can drag the mouse a bit outside of the object and the path is sticking to the object itself you have to be a bit careful at the corners all right and rest of the areas Photoshop takes care itself and you can see how the selection is being made now you can see the selection is a bit more precise than the previous one let's deselect it and let's define the contrast as well and this contrast option asks us to define the color contrast between the object and the pixels around the object we want to select let's keep it a bit higher let's say 31 percent and then let's make the selection again And now you can see a much better selection. Let's deselect it again and see the frequency. And with this frequency, we can define how many points we want to appear while making the selection. The higher the number of frequency, the better the selection of the object, the lower the number of frequency, the chance of selecting the object properly would be less. All right, so let's keep it down to eight. And you can see very few dots are being created while making the selection. And it works fine with straight lines, right? But with a lot of curves in the object it will be much harder to make the selection so you can see how the selection is made with the frequency down to 8 let's keep it to maximum that's 100 and make the selection and you can see a lot of dots appearing very close to each other in the selection and this aids us in making better selection when there's a lot of curves on the object we want to select let's close this one and you can see a better selection is made with the frequency set at maximum you can set it to a minimum or maximum depending on the object you're going to select and then you have got the option for tablet pressure over here and this basically allows us to redefine the width here in this option using the pen pressure if you are using vacuum tab to work with photoshop 
all right i'm not using vacuum tag as of now so it doesn't work for me at the moment uh, either you check it off or check it on that's not going to make any difference if you are not working with vacuum tag all right so let's redefine the selection with this add to selection and subtract from selection option the first thing I want to use is the subtract from selection option here because I don't want this area to be selected and with a higher number of frequency you can make the selection much better all right then I would like to add a little bit of area over here and I can add it like this let's select a bit of hair as well if you need to and you can see a more expanded selection made with the selection options available all right after the lasso tool you can see a couple of options over here let's deselect it then after the lasso tool you can see there are two more options for selection in photoshop and those are quick selection tool and magic wand tool let's have a look at the quick selection tool and the option it offers and you can see the option to make a new selection over here then the add to selection and subtract from selection option here and this basically is a brush tool so this allows us to define the size of the brush harness and that defines the hardness of the edge if you drop it down to zero the edges will be softer if you push it to higher the hardness at the edges will be sharper right then you have got the spacing option over here and this defines the spacing between its brush stroke we'll talk about this later in our brush tool tutorial all right as of now this doesn't make much impact in our quick selection option then you have got the angle and the roundness option and this doesn't make any difference because we're using a round brush over here and one more thing you can increase or decrease the size of the brush with your big bracket key opening big bracket key from keyboard makes the brush size larger while closing big bracket from the key makes your brush size smaller then you can see the option here let's make a new selection then you have got the sample all layers option here if you have got composite image or a lot of layers on your document then you can check this one to make selection from other layers and you can also check on the auto enhance option to enhance the selection on the edges all right so with the selection tool you can simply click and drag on the object and you can see the selections made and you can see a huge selection made over here let's uh, remove it with the top track from selection option and you can see the selection area is getting smaller you might need to increase or decrease the size of your brush depending upon the ages and you can go on to select add to select option or simply hold the shift key on your keyboard to ask for sub to toggle between the options and you need to be much more careful over here zoom it a bit and you can see the selection is made all right then the last option on the selection tool is the magic wand tool and this is basically used to make a white selection on the workspace you click on one color and you can see a large area within the document with the same color value is selected and it basically takes sample from the area you click and selects the entire area with similar color range you can define the area of the color sample from here and you can take a 3 by 3 average to 101 by 101 average that would be a large area right but for perfect selections you are always going to take a point sample so that it take pixel value from the exact point where you click and select the area where all these colors are and select those area where the same or similar color value is present within the document area and you can define the range of the colors to be selected using this tolerance options it will allow you to go right to the highest shade of that color that's 255 to the lowest shade that is zero let's keep it on zero and click anywhere and you can see only the exact color is selected over here and let's go to 255 and click on here and you can see almost the entire document is selected all right for better results you might want to go anywhere around 20 to 50 shades up or down while selecting a document and you can see the result over here and then you have got the anti-alias option and that will help you smooth edge transition then you have got the contiguous option and it allows you to define either you want to select similar color from the entire document or just the connected ones let's click on contiguous deselect it and click it again and you can see there's a break here scholars are not connected so it's stopping over here you can click on add to selection and go here and make another selection or you can even add another colors or another areas with the add to selection option here all right then you have got sample all layers option to sample colors from all the layers if you are working in composite images all right we'll talk about composite images in advanced for sub tutorials but as of now we are on the basic part so i'm leaving it as it is all right so these are the selection options you can work here with ports up all right and moreover you can also see a select menu on the top and here are a couple of options these are the basic options we have already talked in this video right then you have got to select all layers option that's deselected because we don't have multiple layers over here and since multiple layers are not selected 
there this is not available over here let's add a couple of layers over here let's say i want to add this option I keep it like this then let's add another image and keep it over here all right now if you go to the select option you can see you can select all layers from here except the locked one and you can also deselect layers then you have got the option to find layers and that's essentially the select option from here you can select the layers by its kind name by the effects it has been using then the modes attributes and colors we'll talk about layers on a separate video let's delete this too and let's define the color range this color range option gives us a dialog box right and here you can see a couple of options here so here the first thing is which color you want to select from the selection area and with cyan you can see the selection is being made over here the white part is being selected while the black part is not being selected over here let's keep it to sample colors and then keep it to none for now and let's make a selection over here let's click on this document over here and you can see the white part over here you can see the preview how you want the preview to appear here and depending upon the emails you can select the option you want to use over here the best option would be either the quick mask mode or the grayscale because with the grayscale you can see the object on white is the selected area while the object in black is not the selected one you can make the selection from here as well or you can simply go with quick mask mode and make the selection from here as well so the brighter area is the selected one and you can go with add to selection and select other areas as well and you can see a huge range of area is being selected over here then you can define the fuzziness over here and that will help you to redefine the area being selected and you can see the impact over here so with the fuzziness down to zero you can see how it appears and with the fuzziness higher you can see how the selection is being made the white area over here is the area being selected select localized color clusters and you can see the selection being made on contiguous areas and you can define the range over here how you want the selection to appear you can go back to grayscale over here and see how the area is being selected and you can keep it down to one or zero to see where you have clicked on the emails to make the selection let's keep it like this you can also enable face detection if you are working on portrait images and you can also invert selection from here as well let's hit an ok and see how it appears and you can see the selection being made let's see its effect in another document over here click and select and select the color range and you can see how it appears you can work with the quick mask mode and that will cover the image with red transparent background make a selection over here and you can see the selected area is bright while the other areas not selected are reddish in color you can add multiple color samples to ask photoshop to make multiple selections over here all right then with the localized color clusters you can ask photoshop to adjust the range of the selection you can see here go with the grayscale mode over here and see the same effect here as well redefine the range or the fuzziness to redefine the selection let's keep it over here and let's click on ok to see the selection over here and you can see the image is being selected like this now i'm going to duplicate the layer hide the original one and add a layer mask over here asking for sub to cover the selected area and only display the unselected area from here hit ctrl i and you can see how the selection is made let's delete this as of now and let's make the selection again so you can see all the options are as it is hit an ok and the selection is done and you can see on the select option you can find this refine is option here as well then you have got the modify option and you can modify the border smoothen the border expand the border contract the border or add a feather over here let's see here so you can redefine the border width let's make it 58 and you can see the difference over here you can even smoothen the edges with smart radius and you can see the changes you can also expand the selection by let's say 15 pixel and you can see the expansion over here you can also contract the selection by defined pixel and you can see the selection reduced then you can see the feather option over here we have already talked about feather and you can define the feather from here as well then you have got the grow option let's have a look at it and the different emails and i'll make a quick selection from here now you can go with your grow option and see how the selection is expanded then with similar option you can further redefine your selection 
Then you have got the transform selection option that we have already talked and save selection option as well. And if you have any selection saved on your Photoshop library, you can even load the selection from here. Then you have got edit in quick mask mode and this will allow you to see your selection in the mask mode like this. And you can use the brush tool with the foreground color black selected to redefine the selection. And you can simply paint on your document to remove the area you don't want to be selected or select the white color as the foreground color and make the selection bigger, right? The lighter area over here is the one being selected while the reddish area on this document is the one that's not being selected release the quick mask mode and you can see the selection is made all right so that's all about photoshop selection tools we'll talk about other tools in our next videos thanks for watching and please subscribe our channel for more videos thank you